today's video, I'm just doing a tutorial on this makeup look. I did like a smoky eyeshadow and a dark lip. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I already have my foundation on. I just used the Clinique Beyond Perfecting and this is like a full coverage foundation. Now I'm just going to go in and contour with this contour palette. I'm just going to take the middle shade and the end shade and just mix those and then just put it on the hairline. That just makes you look tanner and like your face looks skinnier. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much just outlining your face and making you look tanner and you know everyone wants to be tan at prom so and doing the same to the other side Now I just take some more bronzer and I'm just going to put this right under my jawline. And then you want to bring it down because you don't want to be two different skin tones on your face and your neck. So you want to just bring it down so it blends. Okay, I don't do this all the time, but since it's prom, I just take a little bit and put it on the sides of my nose to make that look tan too. So it looks like you're actually tan and across. Now with the lighter shade, so I'm going to take this middle shade right here and just brighten up my under eyes with it. And then I'm going to highlight with it too. Okay, moving on to the eyes, I like to use this method where I just take a piece of tape and then I'll like put it right where your eyeliner would be like this because it's going to make a cool effect so, and it's just going to look more professional like you got your makeup done when really you just use tape okay so for this eye look I'm going to do like kind of like a dark ombre type thing so it's going to be darker and then fade into light and then it's going to have like glitter on the center I'm first going to go in with like a middle brown shade right here and this is just going to go like all over the this half of your eyelid because I'm going to make it light and dark and I'm going to be using a lot of cool tone colors just because my dress is gray and I don't want it to be warm tone Okay, now I'm going to go in with this like really dark color right up here. It's going to be a little bit more dramatic, so I'm going to use that dark color. And just a little bit on the outer corner. the smoky effect on the outside so next I'm gonna go in with a, like some really light colors this color right here it's like a peach white color and I'm kind of blending these two together because I want it to be an ombre effect half of my corner I want to do like a really sparkly like gray glitter so I'm going to use this color right here and if you want it to be really intense you should like take water or like I just have this um, makeup setting spray but you could just use water and you just want to like spray your brush a little bit okay that's not working so I'm just going to take my finger and just go like this and then just like put it on there. I'm gonna spray my finger with this, it's not sticking. 
So now that my hand has that makeup setting spray, I'm just gonna put that on my eye so that it'll stick. Yeah, this is working a lot better. It's already way more glittery than when I was using the brush. So yeah, I just recommend using your finger and some water or setting spray to pack it on there. So it's like a really intense glitter. <laughs> see a sparkle okay so just to make this eye makeup a little bit more dramatic I'm gonna go in with an even darker color so I use the brown but I'm gonna try to use a little bit of the black like a tiny bit and just put that on the outer corner to make it more smoky and more dramatic like a tiny tiny bit <laughs> the other side yeah I really want to bring it out to the crease to add more dimension because you don't want your crease not have a in it Okay, so now I'm just going to take off the tape and see how it looks. Oh. So you can see it kind of created like a winged look since there's nothing past that. So it kind of looks like you put eyeliner on when you really didn't. So that's a life hack right there. Kind of dramatic, but this is prom. Look, I definitely want dramatic eyelashes. So I found this eyelash primer by Wet n Wild and it's pretty thick so it's just going to add like length and volume to your eyelashes. Okay, so you don't put mascara on right after you apply this. You have to like wait for it to dry. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to put some highlighter on. And I'm going to take the same glittery color that I use in my eyes and just put that right here. Then I'm going to put some on my nose. Cupid's bow. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with some mascara. And this is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. And you can't forget about your lower ones. I put... I always put mascara on my lower lashes too. Okay, so now onto the lips. I'm just gonna take this lip primer. This is by Ulta, I think it is, and it's just like a lip primer. So yeah, I just use this lip primer right here. And I don't know what color to use yet. I haven't figured that out. Kind of a dark pink but warm tone. Oh, I really like that one actually. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this middle shade right here. This one's called Ruffle Trim. Okay, I don't want it to be too dramatic. Okay, now I'm just going to take a Q-tip with some makeup remover and like clean the edges of it. Okay, now I'm just going to set the lipstick with a translucent powder like this on a big brush and just 
tap it on so that it doesn't come off when you eat or drink or something like that. And then I'm going to go in with a really big brush and take the same translucent powder and just set my whole face with it. Especially the areas that I get oily. So this is the final look. I think I'm going to be wearing this to prom. So if you have any other prom makeup videos, leave that down in the suggestions. And I'll definitely try to do that. Like maybe hairstyles or something like that. If you guys like that video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.